Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner-friendly tutorial videos on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. And today we're going to create a Roblox treasure hunt game. So in this project, we will be creating a Roblox treasure hunt game called Red Envelope Hunt Quest. And the idea of the project is that the players have to find 10 red envelopes within five minutes. And these red envelopes are hidden inside the buildings that we're going to um, add to our game. And this tutorial is in two parts. The first part of the tutorial would be game theme design, in which I will teach you how to create the game using Roblox Studio. And in the second part, I'll be teaching you how to code the project using Code Kingdoms. So let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and create our game theme. So first I'm going to code Kingdoms to create a custom project. And I'm going to rename the project as Red Envelope Hunt Quest. And I am also going to select it as a base plate. All right, and we can go ahead and click Start. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and add a new file called red envelope, which is an object, and I'm going to add it as a local behavior. Okay, right, so add red envelope. Okay, object and local behavior. And go ahead and add it. Then, all right, after we have created our project, we want to download it and open it in Roblox Studio. All right, okay, now that we have the project downloaded into Roblox Studio, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a ground. So we want to choose part right here, okay? And we want to change the material to be concrete, all right, concrete. And we want to change the color to either black or gray to give sort of the natural effect of a road. And then we're going to stretch it using the scale tool right here. Okay, to make it cover the base plate. And then we also want to anchor it. Okay, so I'm going to scale it right now. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the toolbox function right here, all right, to add buildings into my city. Now you can choose any buildings that you like, but make sure that you can open them and go inside as some model buildings are, uh, you can find in the toolbox, do not allow your characters to go inside, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a coffee shop. And then I'm going to go ahead and add it right here. And I also want to rotate it. So, okay. and then I'm going to go ahead and add in a Domino's pizza. Okay, so Domino's pizza. All right, so I have my Domino's pizza right here. I will put it in front of the coffee shop. All right, and then I wanna go ahead and add a bakery as well. So I'm gonna search that up right here. Okay, all right, let me place it right next to the coffee shop. And then I'm going to add in a library. Okay, let's place that. Okay, right next to the bakery. Let's go ahead and also rotate it. Okay. 
All right. Then I want to go and add a shot. All right, and the last thing I'm going to add after the shop is a shop and center. I'm going to go ahead and add this one right here. Okay, and we'll place it in the space we have so around there. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to add a spawn location in the middle of the city so that we can easily access or move around. Okay, so we'll get a spawning point. Okay, and we want to place it in the middle of the city. So it's right around there. Okay, all right. Now that we have the spawn place, okay, we will be making the red envelopes or your treasures. So what we want to do is we want to choose part. Okay, so let's close up the toolbox. We want to choose part. Okay, right there. And we want to go ahead and change the material to be plastic, all right? And the color to red, okay, right here. And we're going to red, rename this part as red envelope, okay? And in this part, we also want to add some sparkles. So first of all, let's go ahead and rename them. Okay. Rename them to red. And below. All right. And let's add some sparkle. All right. So sparkle. Okay. And just click on that. And then we have it. Okay. So now we're going to create 10 of these envelopes. So we need to duplicate them. And we can use this component right here to duplicate it. All right. So we'll go ahead, duplicate. Duplicate until we have 10 of them. All right, so I'm at my 10th one. So right click, duplicate. And now we have 10 of them, All right? So if we move them out, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, all right. Now the next thing we want to do is by using the move tool, okay, in our home. We can place the red envelopes inside the buildings. Now we can make them difficult to find by placing them in places which are hard to find, like under a chair or in a faraway room. Okay, and some buildings can also have one envelope or two envelopes, and some will have even more. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've hidden all my 10 envelopes. For example, I have hidden one here in the library in the second floor. So the players would have to climb up this stair right here to be able to reach it. Okay, so now we are going to create the time. So to do that, we need to create a countdown timer. And we're going to add a screen GUI. GUI stands for graphical user interface and it's used to display information about the game such as time in this case to the player. Okay, so the way to do that is we go to view, click on Explorer, all right, and we want to scroll down and find screen GUI. I have one right here. Let me delete it first. Yeah, we want to find um, our starter GUI, sorry, and we want to click on this plus sign and insert screen GUI. All right, now we want to click on screen GUI and then click this plus sign and add in a text label. All right, so it's right here. Now to make this text label bigger, we can click, right? And then it's gonna highlight the text label component. 
All right, and we can go to view and open properties. And in the properties, we're gonna scroll down to the text section, okay, right here. And in the text part, okay, so first of all, let's change the text inside. We'll make it countdown timer. Okay, and this part, next part is we're gonna increase the text size. So we can put in 30, for example. All right, so after we put in 30, now you can see our countdown timer, the text is much bigger. Now, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go back to our text label. So I'm just gonna close that. All right, and we want to insert a script. So we can click, all right? And then we can go ahead and click on script. Okay, so let's delete print hello world for now. Okay, and what we wanna do is we want to code the timer. And the timer is going to start at 300, so five minutes in seconds, all right? And that it ends at minus one, negative one. And since the loop will minus one each time, it'll create the effect that there is a countdown. Okay, so the way you do that is start with the loop, while true do for i equals 300, the beginning, okay, 300 seconds. Okay, wait one, okay, it's just a buffer time, and then script dot. Parent.txt. Okay, we'll make it equal to countdown. I. And it will say if script.parent.txt equals to countdown negative one, then script. Parent destroy like so. All right, so after we have added the script right here, then we have completed our game scene. And you can now test the game to see if you can move around and inside and out of the building to find the envelopes. And you would notice that the time's also running on the screen. All right, so now I'm gonna test if our countdown timer is working. I'm gonna go ahead and click play. All right, so as you can see now, the timer is counting down and let's try to go inside the library, okay, which is right here. All right, so here, I can go ahead and grab our red envelope right here. So that's all for today. In the next tutorial, we'll learn how to code the game by adding a score system to the game to count how many red envelopes have been found. And make sure to subscribe to our channel to check out the next section of this project. And don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, bye.